Uh, hey, BJ Wilson Alexander from The Advocate. I uh, hope you're doing well today. Um, I guess just for starters, I mean, you're an SEC defensive lineman of the week. Uh, where would you say you're at kind of in your game right now, and, and what was it like to find out that you've gotten that? Uh, it was definitely an honor to be the SEC defensive lineman of the week. And I just credit to my coaches and to my teammates for helping me achieve that goal for last week. Hey, BJ, uh, Sheldon Michaels with the Advocate here in Baton Rouge. Um, Coach Owen was telling us yesterday how uh, they moved you a little bit more outside this year. Um, was, was that his idea or um, Coach Carter's idea? What, what did that entail? And what's, how much is it giving you more freedom maybe to go after the quarterback? Uh, it's definitely giving us the attack mentality, uh, widening us out a little bit, making more rush, um, and again after the quarterback. It's definitely, I think it was a, a group idea with just with Coach Jones and his defense and Andre Carter, the way he coaches and the way he teaches us to attack. And, and did it make you feel like, like I said, more, that you have more free reign to the quarterback where you can maybe – elude that tackle a little bit easier? Yes, sir. That's the idea. Yes, sir. We definitely have more free reign to uh, elude the tackles and get a better rush in, you know, first and second down situations. Thank you. Hey, BJ Jacques from uh, WAFB here in Baton Rouge. Um, sometimes when you go on the road to a hostile environment, the defensive line can kind of quiet the crowd down and kind of set the tone for the game. How much are you guys looking forward to, you know, a tough road contest and the start of it? SEC play? Uh, we love the competition. Uh, we know it's going to be a rowdy environment. So any big plays, big stops that we can make to uh, just calm the crowd is going to be a big influence in the game. Obviously, last year you guys played the first game of the year. It didn't go well. Uh, is that the back of your memory bank, or is it uh, just a, a fresh start? Uh, it would, I definitely think about it. Uh, think about last year. Uh, we're just going to come out this week and um, just focus on getting the win on Saturday. Hey, BJ, this is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, you know, Coach Orgeron said this morning that it's looking like you know Jay Ward could be available for you guys this weekend. I'm, I'm curious just what kind of impact he has at safety because it seems like he really drew in some rave reviews this fall and played well in his first couple of series against UCLA as well. Oh, yeah, Jay Ward, he's definitely um, a guy you want behind you. He's going to come up with uh, and stop the run. He's going to drop back, make big plays, interceptions, and everything in the, uh, in the back half of the defense. So he's definitely a guy that uh, we want out there and can't wait to get back. And BJ, when you say, you know, thinking about, like when you think about last year's game, when you do think about it, what kind of comes, what do you think about? What comes to mind? Um, just what uh, we did wrong last year and what uh, we, we got to do this year to uh, prevent what um, the outcome of what last year was. Yeah, kind of a follow-up to that. I mean, Coach Joe said how y'all still are kind of trying to manage put some busts, you know, fix uh, your coverage of crossing routes, some of the things that gave y'all problems against Mississippi State last year. So how much of a – where do you think y'all are at as a defense compared to where you were at during that game a year ago? Uh, as a defense, I think uh, we're better. We're, uh, we communicate better. The back half communicates better. Everybody's going to be on the same page. And going into practice today, I know they're going to uh, emphasize communication um, on the routes, communication on blocks, and just uh, overall in the defense being on the same page. Hey, BJ, how's it going? I mean, obviously, you've been you know pass rushing from day one here, but what has that kind of progression been like of, of becoming ready to be a three-down guy in the SEC? Uh, it's been a steady uh, progression, just looking up to guys like um, Andre Anthony, uh, Ali Gay, just seeing how I can take away from their game into the uh, run-stopping side of uh, the defense. And then even with the pass rush, they teach me, they still teach me things because they have more experience looking on to Coach Andre Carter, Coach G, and Coach O. So it's just an ongoing skill development every day to get better. Hey, BJ, Nick Lopez with Tiger TV. And it's obvious that when the defensive line is on top of their game, it allows the linebackers and secondary to kind of fly around and do what they need to do. How do y'all look to continue that in this game and upcoming games? Uh, defensive line, we're definitely held to a higher standard. Uh, we want to create the juice. We want to make all the plays. 
and we we want everybody to feed off our energy. So when defense defensive line going, the defense is going, the offense gets going, and even the special teams gets going. Hey, BJ, uh, going back to Coach Carter, uh, Neil told us uh, that he puts on the pads, uh, or he put on the pads once, and did he get down and dirty and show you guys what to do? I mean, uh, and what have you learned specifically from him? Oh, yeah, he, he, he can definitely put on the pads in a practice. Uh, he's very engaged in the practice. Uh, he'll do anything that he needs to do to give us the right look uh, before Saturday. And uh, he's just a great coach, and he taught us a lot of things technique-wise coming from the NFL and playing in the NFL. So it's just a great experience to learn from him. When you learn, uh, Coach O talks a lot about his 80 and a half sacks in the NFL. When you hear that you're getting a coach like that, how excited did you get? Uh, to have somebody like that teaching you? You know, it, it fires you up because, you know, he, he's played the game. He knows the game. So just to be able to talk to someone and learn from someone who's who's done it is is no no other experience. Thanks. DJ, when it comes to uh, Jack Besh, um, I was at a breakout game this past weekend, but it seems like he's sort of been coming along for a while. Was there a, a, maybe a moment or some time, thing like that in practice where – you know, you really, it really, he really stood out to you for the first time or something like that? Uh, yeah, the young guys in practice, they definitely have uh, their flashes of, um, you know, of greatness and stuff like that. So he, he's a guy who comes to practice every day, works hard, works hard on routes, blocking, and uh, he's going to be a great part of our team this year. PJ, uh, Coach O said in the first big test of the year, we didn't play well against UCLA, and now this is the second big test. Is this, in a way, kind of a reset to see where you guys are at? Yeah, I, th I definitely think it's going to be a, a a game, a big game for us this year to see what, where we're at against a, another SEC opponent. So um, just coming into this week, we have to have that mentality of, of just getting to work and getting it done this week.